Hello again. I've entitled this thought, Is Your God Big Enough? I base it on a story I heard about an Amer American evangelist called Tony Campolo. He's famous across America and Europe for his very lively, energetic and forceful preaching. He used to go to Spring Harvest and our son went to hear him and was even impressed. Tony tells this story. One day he was invited to preach at an American campus. He just started and he noticed a lady come beside him with the lad, her son, wearing a caliper on his leg as it was so badly deformed. And he said, Madam, how can I help you? And she said, God has told me you are going to heal my son. Tony's first thought was, I wish that God had told me you were coming. And he was looked a bit perplexed. And the chaplain of the college said, anyone who thinks that Tony cannot heal his child, please leave. And most left. Tony said, what do I do next? And the chaplain quoted these few verses from James chapter 5. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with the oil in the name of the Lord. The chaplain said, let's follow the words of James. They went to the chaplain's house. Chaplain fetched some olive oil from the kitchen and they asked for God's blessing upon it. Then they prayed over, over the lad, laying hands on him. They anointed him. And Tony said, there was a great sense and presence of the Holy Spirit. Very powerful. And he was quite surprised that nothing seemed to happen. A few years later, he was again at the same campus. Again, he started to preach. And again, the same woman turned up. This time, standing beside her was her son, tall, straight, no caliper, no stick, no nothing. So Tony said to her, what happened? She said, that night, when we put him to bed, he woke up crying and said that his caliper hurt. And we had to unscrew the caliper a little bit. And over the period of the next few months, we had to keep loosening the caliper until eventually we took it off as his leg was perfectly heal, healed and straight and normal. Later, Tony told that story to a group of theologians. And the professor of the college said, Tony, I'm very sorry, but my theology will not let me believe in that kind of miracle. Tony turned to him and said, maybe, just maybe, God is bigger than your theology. And that is the question we need to ask ourselves. Is God bigger than our theology? Or if you like, bigger than our understanding? As you know, I love mountains and creation outside and I see the majesty of God wherever I walk. And I have a sort of a wow feeling. Unlike a lady who came to my church who put God in a little box and God wasn't allowed to operate anywhere out of her preconceived idea of who God is. So my thought to us all is, dare we let God be God? To be the God of the whole creation? Is our God big enough? Amen.